all right welcome back to the third part of this tutorial so what I'm going to do now is to take care of this list box so let me exit and just I might as well use form activate so let's come in here and come to form activate there we go so inside the form activate I'm going to say on error go to my arrow handler there and let's say with LST books dot let's say dot add item and the first item I would I like to add is going to be let's say Cinderella. That's my first book. And followed by. So let's enter a couple more. So I'm just going to copy that. error handler let's say exit stop sub error handler and that will be default message box dot description okay okay now I just need to change the names here around but let me run it for so you guys see what I'm talking about oh let's see what happened okay I think I am missing I think we're missing a column there so let's enter a column and just try it one more time there we go guys that is fine all right let's come back inside the code and just change the names around let's, and that is going to be let's say games games design and let's come in here and say arithmetic arithmetic function right and so on so let's just speed that up okay there we go so I'm going to now try it out let's run it and see how it looks like there we go guys so the whole idea is if we select any of these we want the books information everything to appear here apart from this very one here okay so one thing first you see this one let's take care of that as well okay let's double click on this very first button here and right there I'm gonna enter the following object let's say dot caption equals d1 dot that is going to be control control tip text so if I run that now that should give me the following anyway so let me copy this let's try another one first before we just try it out paste that in there this is two one more yeah three okay let's run it and see how it's going to look like so if I click on any of these 
yeah you see that guys that is fine yeah I like that okay I believe you get the whole idea now anyway it's just to specify how many days of loan okay let's come to the next one and just speed that up now we have Wednesday and that will become four so I'm going to have to speed this up so I have approximately 30 30 buttons there that's going to take some time okay so let's speed it up okay I'll finish up with these lines of codes so if I run it now this is what you guys will see so I'll select any of those so it's telling us that uh, the book will be on loan for just two days okay and this is three days and so on okay the other thing is if I select any of these I would like it to tell me how many days in total there so to make life easy for me I think mm, it's not going to be easy I think I may have to individually enter as follows yeah so I'm going to have to speed that up so that's very line of code we work out how many days how many days we have to or the book is on loan for right let me just speed that up and I get back to you guys okay guys I've finished up the lines of codes so have a good look at it it's similar lines of codes anyway and this is where we find the difference between the two days so there we go alright so I'm going to now run the system and you guys see how it looks like okay so today it's 15 let's say we want to go for 10 days I don't like this maybe that's fine the calculation is right but this one let's change it to 2018 so let's go back in the code let's look for the function right there so I just need to change that to double y, y, y and there yeah that's it okay let's run it run the program and see okay that's more like it right that's good so what about the fine now when I click on this I want the following information okay I want the following information to be displayed here all right let's take care of that okay let's start by double clicking on that very list box so right there I, what I'm going to do is if list box it's called books and that's selected equals or in the zero equals true and then I want the following to happen so let's say txt book txt book id dot text equals let's enter the isbn number there we go right that's the isbn number for that and txt book title the text 
equals so I'm going to just call that that will be Cinderella just copy that and paste that there and now we want the auto so let's go back in here what's the name of that auto copy that back in here dot auto equals what let's see let's just give it a name just call that Johnny Johnny J or Johnny King that's fine now the next one underneath is okay fine let's go for fine okay so fine the text will be let's say equals two pounds two pound ninety nine p then after fine we want deal date overdue so we just say date date overdue let's make that default I think date overdue maybe we should change that I will leave that I will change that to a list box or a combo box then this one will be the price of the book if it's missing let's see where the the text equals it says about 1999 or 90, 1997 there so I'm gonna copy all of this else if else if let's copy all of this if it's in the zero else if there if it's in this one then we have to change all of this around okay then just indent to make it look a bit readable if it's in this one and in this one is game design copy that As you can see, the list, the names of the books start from Cinderella. That's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I believe you guys understand that anyway. Alright, the name of this one is going to be Ari Jones. Okay. And that book will be maybe twenty-three pounds plus there. So let's try it out. Supposing I select this, that is what we get. We can enter you no know, yeah and supposing it's this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. In the case of this, we just need to enter yes or no here. Let's change that. I'm going to copy something else. Get rid of that. Just copy something from here. Bring it here. So let's give it a name. We we'll just call it CMB Date Deal. Over Deal. So date overdue inside form initialize that is going to be here in form initialize and date overdue on it here. So date overdue is going to be yes or no.
dot item equals here somewhere and uh, yeah that's all there is to that okay so if we run in let's just say select the A selection right if I run it now this is how that is going to look like yeah yes data with you yes or no and there we go that's all populated so now we get the whole idea of how to change this so all I'm just going to do now is just to speed up the whole process and I'll get back to you guys shortly with this here correct that there we go now back in here yeah, it's right up here really so I just start copying and pasting the next index is going to be index number two and index two that is index two was the name of the book arithmetic function copy and come right in here paste that there change the ISBN number by all open and the price of that may be 17 day okay so I guess you guys get the whole idea I'm just gonna speed that up now and get back to you guys shortly okay and that is the list box taken care of so have a good look look at the lines of codes there it's similar and that's all there is to that so I'm now going to just run it and see how it looks like so whatever we select there we go and how many for how many days there okay so all that is left for us now is this one we you have to manually enter that name of borrower maybe and surname address and um, the rest of the address postcode mobile number there so all that is left for us now is if I click on this I would like everything to be displayed on the, on the spreadsheet itself so let's get that out of out of the way but for now I'm gonna call it the end of this uh, third part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly bye for now